What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. I'm starting this video off down here in southeastern Georgia where at 1.05 a.m. on June 18th of 2022 there was a rare 3.9 earthquake in southeastern Georgia coming in at a half a mile deep. That is very rare, possibly on some sort of a unknown ancient fault line down there in southeastern Georgia. But I wanted to share that with you guys and if you happen to feel it, if you're from this area of southeastern Georgia or south Southwestern South Carolina and you happen to feel that 3.9 earthquake during the overnight hours, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. Also in this video we're going to take a look at some photos of a tilted, I don't really know how to describe this, a tilted or it looks like a slanted sun halo in the daytime sky. Rare footage you're, you're going to see in that segment. Also in this video I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent from all around the world. But first a quick update on yesterday yesterday's power outages at one time there was over 624,000 customers 14 states in a widespread power outage event yesterday occupying most of the eastern United States. Never seen anything quite like that. The storms have been very active here recently. Here's a storm I, I noticed on radar a few days ago back on June 11th in southeastern Nebraska, northeastern Kansas. You can see a obvious tornado on the radar. You don't see this very often, but that's like an intake right there creating that what looks like a comma. That was a tornado above Kansas and Nebraska just a few days ago. The atmosphere has been very active here recently. Here's some video footage by Tiffany Byers out of Pensacola, Florida of a massive shelf cloud coming in above Pensacola, very photogenic. She happened to notice this very long photogenic shelf cloud in the sky above Pensacola on June 9th of 2022. In some locations, it almost looked like it was touching the ground. Very low profile high shelf cloud above the Florida Panhandle, mainly above Pensacola, Florida. Quick look at the power outage situation. Right now as I do this video, they're starting to increase in the, the state of Florida as storms are moving through Florida. 17,300 customers without electricity. Currently from yesterday's storms, Virginia still at 33,000, North Carolina 30,000, West Virginia 26,000, and Ohio at 16,000. And Wisconsin still at 14,000 from severe storms that moved through the area in the last 24 to 48 hours. Coming over here to the Space Weather Prediction Center, looking at the GOES X-ray flux, no major flares in the last 48 to 72 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismograph at Little West Thumb, showing several small earthquake signatures. That's what the, the red vertical lines are. Then you see an absence of data down here at Flag Ranch, and an absence of data at Mammoth Vault. Then a increase in what looks like magma intrusion. Overall, pretty Pretty quiet, not anything major going on at the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera other than the, the flooding that's had the park, or at least some areas of the park, closed here recently from the rare flooding event. Looking at the Schumann Residence, a couple of spikes in the last 24 to 36 hours, but again, not anything major going on there. I wanted to share a video that was shared with me by Mary Hall, who sent this in the other day, and this is Mary's video from the International Space Station. She happened to notice this object that came down from the upper right hand field of view and it decided to switch directions and make a hard what looks like a right hand turn it was actually the the craft right here going back to to its left or right from this field of view mary does not miss a trick when it comes to this international space station live cam here goes a another object across the field of view in the the top portion of the camera not sure of the location at the time here comes another object up here in the upper right hand corner you're going to see what looks like two objects together here in just a moment and i'm telling you i zoom in take a closer look at these two objects and they are completely mysterious have never seen any Thing quite like it. Once again, these videos were sent in by Mary Hall. You can find her YouTube channel, link down below in the description box. She does an excellent job keeping track of things over here on the ISS live cam. Here comes these dual objects right here. I'm going to slow it down and zoom in on these things, and you guys tell me what you see here. A lot of times, these things are a complete mystery, like what we're looking at right here. And again, these were noticed by Mary Hall via the International Space Station live cam. Never seen anything 
anything quite like that. Dual objects moving through the field of view. Once again, you can find Mary's YouTube channel, link down below in the description box, and she's always posting excellent content, great finds from the International Space Station. Wanted to show you guys now these rare photos of what looks like a tilted sun halo. I don't really know how else to describe this. This is a normal halo and you can see the sun is clearly in the center of the halo. That was by Becky out of Hillsboro, Oregon. Look at the one on the left here. See how it's off center compared to the one on the right. We're going to go back to it. That photo was sent in by Peter out of Dublin, California. Look how the sun's down here off center. It's not in the center of the halo for some reason. And this is just an ordinary photo. No different type of specialized lenses or anything like that. Here's the photo from Peter and here's the insert down here of the one by Becky which is in the center. This one's off center. See how it's kind of down towards the five o'clock position like this one here sent in by Daniel out of Bridge Lake, British Columbia. See how the sun's kind of off to the right a little bit? It's clearly not in the center. And you got to ask yourself why. I happen to notice that on a few photos I received here just last month. Here's another photo of a off-center sun, or at least a, a tilted halo, I guess, if you will. Another photo sent in by Brad out of North Plains, Oregon. The sun in this photo is kind of leaning towards the, the 7 or 8 o'clock position. See how there's more of a halo up here and less of a halo down here? And this photo here, the sun looks primarily in the center. I don't know why it looked off-center in the other ones, but this one here looks perfectly center. Like all of the other ones I've ever seen. Here's another one that's clearly not in the center of the photo. Sent in by Caroline E. out of Renton, Washington. Look at the halo. See how it looks tilted or off center? The sun's definitely not in the center of that giant halo in the sky. It's leaning towards the, the 7 or 8 o'clock position. You've got more halo up here to the upper right than you do the lower left. And I have no idea why, guys. That is another complete mystery. Something I've never seen before. And I've seen hundreds, if not thousands, Thousands of photos of, of sun halos over the years sent in by you guys, and I've never seen any that look quite like that. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. Also, in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Justin out of Cedar City, Utah, noticed some incredible lightning, low to the ground thunderstorm. Jane, Raleigh, North Carolina, another very photogenic shell cloud. Dale out of Fort Lupton, Colorado. These photos are exactly the way I received them. Ominous looking sky. Once again, Again, above Fort Lupton, Colorado. Look at that. Now, that may have been edited just a little bit, but it wasn't by me. Lisa, out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The sky was filled the other day with Mamatis clouds. I got photos from Lisa and photos from Mark, who don't know each other, but happened to notice the very impressive Mamatis clouds low in the sky above Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, going back just a couple of days ago. Christine J. out of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, noticed what looked like Sahara sand in the sky in these photos here. These are definitely unedited, exactly the way I received them. Looks like a sandstorm going through Pennsylvania. Connor out of South Wales, United Kingdom, the recent supermoon. Incredible photo. See a lot of detail on the surface of the moon. And that was the recent supermoon back on June 14th of 2022. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.